All right, so you're searching for a file and you can't find it. It's hiding. Everything you try, you just can't for the life of you find it. I've been there, done that, and I'm going to show you how to find those elusive files that just don't want to be found, right? Tech Gremlins are coming out to play. Well, guess what? I'm Sean. I'm the Tech Gremlin Warrior, and let's jump over to our Windows, and I'm going to show you how to use Windows 11 Search, all right? So we've got our Windows 11 open right now. If you uh, don't have it already, you can get your file explorer. Right now we do have it on the task menu or the task bar down below. If I go in here and hover over it, showing a file explorer. If it's not there, you can go over to your start menu, left click. I've got it pinned, but you can also just immediately start typing file. Notice right here, again, best match. Almost always the best match is going to be what you're looking for. Not not always, but almost always, especially if it's something that you've already installed uh, or is part of the system. And right here, it's letting us know it's part of the system. Again, from here, we can go in and we've got options here. Drop down arrow. Again, again, that little drop down arrow over here on the right allows us to pin, unpin from start if we wanted to, unpin from taskbar. Again, in your case, you're going to want to be doing a pin to start and a pin to taskbar so that you can find it easily. All right. So. Now we're going to open it up. We're looking for a file. All right. Let's just say it's taxes. Now you could start and do the search right here from home. As a general rule, most of your stuff is going to be in this home area anyway. The home area is going to have, as you can see here in this quick access, home includes all of the stuff that we're seeing here. It includes desktop. It includes da downloads. It includes documents. It includes pictures. So as a general rule, you, you, it, your stuff's going to be there. Um, not always, and we're going to go over that as well, but let's just say that we're looking for a specific document. All right. And, uh, I don't have anything labeled taxes on this particular computer, but I do have some pictures and, uh, I got some pictures of, uh, my, my dog that's no longer with us. Um, and, um, her name is angel. And so I can just start typing angel and see what this has done. It's gone and it's found all of the pictures that have angel in the name. All right. And, um, uh, it's doesn't matter where it's at as far as, you know, it, it's in the home drive. Okay. Or it's in the home area. It's going to find them all. All right. Now let's just say that we don't know the name, but we know that it's a PDF. Okay. As a general rule, like tax documents and things like that are going to be PDFs. Here's a trick. You can say, Man, I don't remember what I named it. Go up in your here to your search up here, upper right hand corner where it says search home. Okay, we're going to click into search home. And what we're going to do is we're going to use an asterisk. Okay, it's on the eight key. I'm going to hold the shift button down, hit the asterisk, and I'm going to do a dot or period PDF. Okay, I'm looking for PDFs. And there it is. It pulled up all the PDFs in the home section. There's not a whole lot there because it's a new computer. And depending what the type of file that you, you search like this for, uh, like if you were to do like a .jpg on an older computer, it's going to be a long search. And it's going to find all of the different JPEG files on your computer. Let's actually play with that and just see. Uh, let's do real quick .jpg and see what happens. Okay. Still not, not that bad. Now, again, this is a newer computer, so there's not a lot there. But again, what this just did is I pulled up all of my image files for my, my JPG files uh, that are in this home section. Okay. So let's do something like uh, this. Right now, what we've got, it we've got one in documents and I've got one in pictures. So I copied it uh, from another video uh, here. Uh, we got in OneDrive pictures. Uh, this, this glacial falls is what I'm looking at. But here's what I want to do. I want to, I want to have some fun with this. I want to show you uh, the power of search and the power of this, this method of using the asterisks. All right. I'm going to go into pictures uh, and let's just do this angel and her dad. That's, that's me and my, my dog angel. And I'm going to do a cut. And now I'm going to bury this. I'm going to bury it deep. I'm just going to find some like random place that's deep uh, that, you know, you wouldn't normally put files, um, but for the, you know, heck of it, we're going to put it, you know, here. All right. I'm going to paste it in here. Um, it's asking me for administrator permissions. I'm going to say yes, because uh, it's kind of a system folder. Okay. 
Uh, so Angel and her dad. Just going to reset. Going to close this completely down. All right. We're going to go into our file explorer. Now, once again, we're going to go ahead and look in here in the home section. All right. Angel. See what happens. Okay. So we do have Angel and her dad showing up here. All right. Because I, I had multiple copies of it. But the one that I just changed, just moved is not, not showing up here. So I'm going to go back. We're going to go and do a, a more comprehensive search. Rather than just searching this home section, if we go into C, C is like the whole computer. All right. I'm going to search my whole computer. You could also just do this PC. And then that piece, that's going to get both the drives. Uh, if you, if you have any drives connected, uh, and that might be something else that you might want to use piece, this PC is going to, to go and search, you know, everything. So let's do that. All right, let's go in here, search this PC and we're going to do angel again. Okay. It's taking a little bit longer this time. Now, if you run into this, obviously this has taken a while. Another option would be just to stop it, I'm going to hit X, and I'm stopping it, and go into C. All right. So you might run into that. Like, okay, why is this why is this struggling? All right. Now let's try it and see what happens. I'm going to hit enter. Let's just see if maybe. And again, this comes back to you know when you're doing a search, um, this goes back to uh, it could take a while. All right. All right, so it started populating. It took a little while. It was kind of, it looked like it was stuck on stupid. Uh, you might need to go and <laughs> brew yourself a cup of coffee. I was actually kind of surprised it took as long as it did because, again, this is a relatively new computer. Um, but, again, could just be, uh, you know, when we're, when we're digging deep, that's what happens. Um, but if it's, if it's doing that, just kind of give it a few minutes. Go and get a cup of coffee if you have to uh, or your favorite beverage and let it run. Okay. Now, what I want to show you here is right here, it's not really showing us where it found them this time. All right. So search results in local disk C. So again, we're, we're looking at our whole computer. And if I click on each one, if you don't have the details open, all right, right over here are the details. All right. It can be very, very helpful to have this details here. All right. If you're seeing uh, something else, you might be seeing preview. All right. So let's go over here to view and right here, sh preview pane. All right. This can either be details pane or a preview pane. And if we click on preview, what it does is it pulls up the picture and lets you know, uh, or the document and kind of gives you a preview of what that file is. Now, again, I'm going to go back to view. And I'm going to go back over here to detail pane. I want it to be details. And again, I'm going to click on it to turn it off or to, to minimize it. Now I'm going to click on it to open it. Okay. Now look at this. It's giving me a bunch of information on this file. All right. And right here, file location, OneDrive documents. This is, this is where everything should be. Uh, and I say should. All right. Um, and what we did is this one here, if we look at the file location, see that? See, I that pub. That was the one that I buried. All right. So again, going into if you if you're just not sure where it's at and you need to do a deeper search, you can go and click on C. And again, it's gonna take a while, uh, depending on you know how many files you have and depending on you know just whether or not uh in this case this is a virtual machine, I have a feeling that that's causing it to struggle a bit. Um but it could take you a while, all right? Um, but that's a trick to find files that uh, you, you just don't know where they're at. Um, and if you don't know the name, again, use that asterisk. And chances are, again, you'll you'll know that, hey, oh, this is a PDF or this is a JPEG or this is a PNG. Um, and again, you, the other things you can do is you can literally just go and type stuff like pictures. And what it'll do actually let's reset okay let's go ahead and reset and you can actually do stuff like pictures 
And what it will do is it'll find fi file folders as well. Okay. See how it found the, the pictures folders? System folders? It actually found the folders. So if you have a folder that you named taxes, you can just do a search for taxes and it'll find that folder. All right. So there you go. Uh, just a little handful of tricks that you can use for using search in Windows 11. So if you're liking these videos, uh, subscribe to the channel. Again, the Tech Gremlin Warrior. Uh, I'm here to help you out. If you have any questions, uh, would like to have something covered that I haven't covered, let me know. And uh, that's it for this one. Thanks for watching, everybody.